this is John from Chicago. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to bring you a new class of quadcopter. Uh, it's a rage right now and whenever these frames are built they're sold out almost immediately. Um, I was going, it's called a, um, I, this is a gnarly FPV Primo. It's uh, called an ultralight class frame. I know Nick Burns just did a uh, review of this and he called it the hyperlight. Uh, frames um, and I know Kebab was the one that I first saw these uh, he makes a toothpick and um, I saw his videos about a year ago he started off with uh, brushed motors going on there but he didn't care for the brush motors and there was really no cost savings they were expensive so he didn't care for them the brush motors they tend to wear out after about three four hours of use where the uh, brushless motors have a longer lifespan uh, so he was really excited uh, about these. Uh, one is uh, these smaller quads, they can't really hurt anyone or be really difficult to hurt anyone. So you could fly in a park or an area where there's people, where in the 5 inch at 100 miles an hour and over a pound of uh, mass, um, they, they're dangerous. If you hit somebody with one of those, it's going to cause some damage. Um, so um, these are non-intrusive, uh, they're super light uh, or, and they um, don't really make much sound when they fly. Uh, I even had, uh, flying my um, Mobula 7, I had a, I flew, was flying in the park and somebody's walking down the path so I pulled off the path by about 30 feet and went around them. They thought it was a dragonfly uh, and they saw me with the uh, goggles up ahead and they said, oh it's a quadcopter. I said, yeah. So anyways, um, the advantage of this, why would you build one of these or transfer everything over to one of these frames? The main reason is you're flying with a bigger propeller. The, uh, it's 100 millimeter from uh, motor post to motor post, post the wheel base versus uh, 75 millimeters, which allows you to move up to a 65 millimeter long propeller versus a 40 millimeter size propeller. The larger propeller is more efficient and it's faster and it and the quad handles better whether that's from uh, not having the hoops that cause air resistance or if it's the larger propeller I'm not sure but anyways the people that fly these say they're fantastic it's five inch like flying on something small so I'm looking forward to building it I'm told it only takes a half uh, hour to move the parts over and I'm hoping to be, get out to fly today, although it's coming on down like uh, crazy snow here in Chicago in April. When will quad season start outdoors? Okay, we have the motors on. 
next step would be to get the camera mounted in the canopy. I left the uh, old propellers on to do a thrust test just to check to see what the change would be going from a 40 to a 65 millimeter propeller. One of the areas that gave me a little bit of problem is mounting the camera. They give you a little uh, TPU piece with some screw holes in it uh, to mount it, but the bracket is too small to fit over the camera. I have a Mobulus uh, 7 camera and you can get two sides on but it's small by maybe about a quarter inch um, but what I saw on the web is a video where they took a lighter and they heated this up and you could stretch it a little bit oh yeah oh yeah that stretches when it heats I don't want to stretch it too far. Probably. Let's stretch it a little further. I just want to be cautious. I don't want to rip this. It would be nice if uh, they knew you were going to use it for the Mobula if they made it a little larger. I think it's going to rip. I get three corners. <laughs> Definitely learn to swear putting these on. <clears throat> okay, I got three corners. I'm sure it that much. Okay. Oh shoot. I got it 90 degrees off. <laughs> uh, I got the canopy or the camera in the canopy. Um, so the next step would be to try to put this to all together. Looks like there's not enough room for the XM Plus under the cockpit. I thought there was going to be a lot of room. Uh, when I uh, emailed Gnarly FPV, they said there was, but I think it'll still fit if I stick it out the side a little bit. So let's put the canopy on. Yeah, it might be 
need to zip tie that in there. Try to get it to fit a little better. The receiver's coming out there on the side. Got a couple wires that need to be tucked in. But there you go. And I put on a battery tray. So there you go. It's kind of all put together. Uh, for preliminary things out of the way, uh, the trash can, or this is not the trash can, this is a Mobula 7 weighs 28.6 grams. Let's see if the version 2 weighs the same. Yeah, 28.5 grams. The frame for the uh, Primo weighs 6.1 grams. The original version 1 frame weighs 4.4 grams. I heard the trash can's about a gram lighter or heavier at about 5.5 grams. Um, so the frame is slightly heavier. Uh, canopy, that weighs uh, 1 or say 2 grams. A battery holder, the largest one, is 1.4 grams. The propellers are... Um, 0.4 grams versus 0.6 grams, so you're saving a little bit of weight on the propellers. So I think the model is going to be about the same dry weight. The Primo weighs 33.8 grams, but this still has the heavier propellers on. With the 65 millimeter propellers, it'll save 8 tenths of a gram, which brings it down to 33. It also has the XM Plus in it with the shrink wrap and the wires, which add 2 grams. So it's 31 grams versus 28.5 grams, or 2.5 grams heavier than what the original Mobula 7 is.